Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to load the stored dimension in our data lake house. Since we have already gone through the date dimension landing, staging and DW load, stored dimension load is almost similar. With few changes, we can run the stored dimension as similar as date dimension. If you have not seen the date dimension videos, I recommend you to go back and watch our playlist. As you can see on my screen, for store dimension, we would be receiving data in CSV format. The file naming convention is store underscore run date dot CSV. We'll have the mentioned columns in the source file. We'll load the same data into the store dimension. I am in my JupyterLab environment. As usual, we will configure our run date as 2022-0101, which is the run date for full load. Here is the dataset folder which contains the store file which we will use for our load in the warehouse today. In my AWS S3, I have placed the same file in the landing. The file is present in the landing directory for store. We have store landing, staging and dimension IPython notebook created. We will run through them quickly one by one. I am into the store landing IPython notebook. The notebook is as similar as date dimension landing notebook. The only difference is we have a landing file name as store underscore run date dot csv and we have the landing file path which is the AWS S3 file path for the landing file. We are going to read the csv file here from the landing path and we are going to process the same file. In the end after we process the file in landing, we are going to archive the file using the boto utility that we have defined as archive landing object. For store staging, there is no change in code. It is as similar as date dimension staging. We are going to read the data from the landing table based on max timestamp. We are going to dedupe the data and we are going to write it into the staging table. Now finally in the store dimension IPython notebook, we have few changes. We are going to read the staging table. We are going to generate surrogate key for stored dimension for which we will use python uuid utility which will generate us a unique id every time. We will add that unique id as the row width which is the surrogate key for stored dimension. For scd1 we are going to follow the same logic. We are going to check if the load is a full load. If it is then we are going to vacuum and delete the table. If not, then we are going to do the upset logic, which includes the store ID as the natural key and update the rows such as store name, address, CT, state, zip code, phone number, run date and update date if the record is matching. If not, then it's a new record and we will insert the record. Once done, we will update the job control log and we will generate the simlink manifest file in the end. To make the process easier, I created one notebook called load stored dimension. Once we open the notebook, we are using percentage run magic function for JupyterLab which will run the notebooks one by one. I will run the landing staging and dimension notebook one by one, then we will validate the data. Let's run the landing notebook. The execution for landing notebook is complete and our symbolic manifest file is also generated. Let's validate the data. As you can see, we have all the seven records inserted inside the table. Let's stop the Spark session and run the staging notebook next. Our staging load is also complete and the simlink find manifest file is generated. Let's validate the staging data. The staging data also looks good. Let's stop this path session and run the final layer, the DW layer for stored dimension load.
the load for the final layer is also complete. Let's validate the final data. As you can see, we have surrogate keys generated. We have store ID, store name, address, city, and all the relevant columns along with the audit columns, run date, insert date, and update date. We have completed the load in the stored dimension. Now we can go back in AWS and see if our file is archived or not. This is the landing folder. Let's refresh the folder. The file is moved. Let's go into archive and validate. Yes, the file is archived. Now we can go back in the warehouse layer and validate the data. Yes, we can see the symlink manifest file and the data present in the warehouse layer. Let's stop the Spark session. Today we completed the stored dimension load for our data lake house. In the next video, we will load our remaining dimensions and fact. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.